Every year, the winner of the Andes Award for Young Readers Literature comes to town. It visits a lucky school this year, and that Jack Gantos is at Discover School of Tulsa. And Laura's lucky, too, because she's there as well this morning with the popular author. Good morning once again, Laura. Good morning. Yes, we are here with Jack Gantos here this morning, who is going to give a very valuable talk to kids here at Discover School of Tulsa. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us and for talking to some of the kids in Tulsa. What will your chat be about this morning? I'm going to be talking to students about how to set up their journals. This is my fifth grade journal. Oh, set up their journals so that they can find good things to write about, personal things, mm -hmm. and then they can organize them, beginning, middle, and end, problem, action, solution, and really become writers. Not just talk about writing, but actually do it. Mm -hmm. And you started this uh, journaling because you read somebody else's journal and thought you could do it better. Who was that? That would be my older sister. <laughs> How does she feel about her stake and, and the fame that you've gotten from becoming a writer? We have a good laugh about it because she stopped journaling and I just kept on with it. So she really put the flame in me and then I just took it from there. All right, and you've taken it so far and journaling really does influence a lot of your writings. How do you get some of the ideas for the stories that you write? Hmm. A lot of the things that I write about are the things that I know about, so it's uh, my life, which basically as a kid, I moved about 50 times, so, wow. you know, and I kept journals, and I drew maps, and made notes, and that's been a very rich source of material for me. Mm -hmm. And you are no stranger to winning awards. I know that we have, we have the book right here that won you an award in 2012. Uh, which award was that? That was the Newberry Award, mm -hmm. which is for the uh, highest contribution to children's literature in the country and uh, the Scott O'Dell Award for Historic Fiction in the same year. So you've got two gold coins on this one, and you've won awards for other books that you've written. What was the other book that you wrote that won an award? Joey Pigza Loses Control, I won a Newbery Award for, and I won the Prince Award for Whole of My Life, a memoir. Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of great stories. A lot of them, you said, pulled from personal experiences, or all of them. So is that advice that you give to kids about when they start writing their own books and their own pieces? I would say that's a primary piece of it, the advice. is to really put yourself first in your writing life. Instead of writing about what you don't know about, write about what you do know about. And then automatically you have not only what's going on around you, but what's going on inside of you. And that's what makes good literature. I did read a, a funny quote that you said about if you start writing a book and you think everyone will like it, it's not going to do well, or that you really like it. Explain that quote. Um, I, I think that quote, the quote is, if I write something and I like it too quickly, oh, okay. then I think, hmm, I'm suspicious. <laughs> because usually for me it's about 100 drafts a book. You know, wow, 100 I know. drafts. Yeah. And that's something else you said you're going to talk to kids about, is taking a critical second look at your writing. Absolutely. So you do a physical draft, an emotional draft, a draft of just dialogue, a draft of description, and you really have these focused drafts, oh. so you can zip through it quickly and really elevate the game mm -hmm. um, in, in a very professional way. So put the bones in and start adding meat layer by layer, layer exactly. of everything else. Very well put, yes. I would say that's exactly what we want them to do. And you've been to Tulsa before. You're no stranger to Oklahoma either. And you've had some interesting experiences being here. I love the story you were telling earlier about um, one of our weather phenomenons that happened here. Tell us about that. Oh, I was speaking at uh, university when the alarms went off mm -hmm. for a tornado. So we went down to the basement and listened to the radio and... It, uh, the tor they were tracking the tornado and they said it hit a big truck. And the next day I was leaving Tulsa and the guy in front of me had staples all over his head, and, you know, and stitches, and he was grumpy and he was complaining about Tulsa. Back. And they said, why are you so upset, sir? And he said, I was driving a truck through Tulsa and a tornado hit me. And I thought, oh, how wonderful. That's <laughs> such a beautiful little story. It just captures everything. It came all the way around. Maybe one day we'll see that in another one of your writings. And you don't just write for children, which is what you've won a lot of the awards for. We showed some of your books a moment ago that are children-based. You do have a couple of uh, adult books as well. Yes, I do. I write uh, novels for adults, novels for young adults, uh, middle grade, and elementary. All right. Well, we can't wait to start picking those up. We appreciate it and look forward to you winning this award tonight. What does it mean to you to, to receive the Anzero? 
it's a it's a great honor to receive it and it's a, an honor for several reasons but certainly one of the radiant reasons is that yes I was chosen but beyond that people then read your book yeah. and and then it radiates within them individually and I think that's really what the award ultimately does it you know it's like I'm there's one fire, but then there are many fires, mm -hmm. you know. The people really get involved in reading it. And then that award goes inside of them because the literature goes inside of them. And that's the biggest reward for me. Absolutely, and beautifully put. Thank you so much, and thank you for talking to our kids here in Tulsa on your visit. And I know, Mike, you have all the information about where the award will be given later today. Well, that's right, Laura. Thank you so much. Of course, Jack Gantos, 2004, and Vizarro Award winner tonight, 7 p.m., Cotter's Cove. It's a Hardesty Regional Library, 8316 East 93rd Street, 918-549-7323, uh, tulsalibrary.org.